Kidnappers hired out in Lagos State where school children were kept is busted. A video reportedly showing the moment security operators raided the hideout of kidnappers in the Ekwe area of Lagos State is still trending. According to Nigeria stories, it was gathered that the busted hideout is where kidnapped ch school children were kept. Metro News further revealed that school bags and shoes belonging to school children were discovered in the hideout. Although it was not clarified as at the time of filing this report, if any suspects have been arrested in connection with the incident, the story is still developing. Recall that a few days ago, the defense headquarters said the bandits who kidnapped 287 students at a school in Kuriga, Kaduna State, took the victims to locations difficult to get to. Director of Defense Major Operations, Major General Edward Boba, who made this known on Thursday, pointed out that the following the depletion of several de terrorist gangs in troops offenses, the terrorists may also be planning on recruiting new foot soldiers, hence the abduction of young students and children. We have depleted their ranks, neutralized many of their commanders and foot soldiers. The terrorists exhibited gross cowardice by going after children. We have taken their commanders out. We recently acquired new air platforms to further decimate them. They know we mean business. It is to protect themselves, that is why they went after the student. But we will not rest until all the kidnapped victims are rescued. General Buba, however, stated that it took more than six hours after the students were abducted for the information to get to the security agencies before machinery was commenced for the rescue efforts. His words, and I quote, as in every year, there are complexities and ours is no exception. Recently, cases of citizens being abducted in the northeast, northwest, and north central theaters of operation were recorded. These citizens were abducted by a brutal and bloodthirsty group that should only be addressed as terrorists and not bandits. I repeat, these are terrorists and not bandits. They are holding these citizens against their will and against all norms of human behavior and against the laws of armed conflict and any good measure in the world. Now, this is what I'm going to see about this particular issue. This is the time where you're going to be extremely careful. Parents, children. I think this is the time. I think this is also the time where you will teach your children some some tactics or some security tactics. I watched a video clip where they're teaching the children how to, you know, sell defense tips. I'm telling you, I think it will come in handy. And apart from God doing his thing, protecting us, guarding us, you know, keeping us safe from see this kind of news. I am strongly believing that you should not sweep it under the carpet. Don't sweep it under the carpet. All right. The useless and sen You see this particular news, you should keep parents, everybody on their knees, on their, uh, what's it called, on their foot. This is not a kind of, God forbid, this is not the kind of a, a what's it called thing you wish away. This is where conscious effort, both on the part of government, both on the part of a country, you know. I'm like, <clears throat> hey, this is not the time where you are going to come outside and you are kind of a, this kind of news should keep you awake. Do you know what it means? Do you know what it means? They are talking about kidnappings and kidnappings. I'm sure residents of a queer in Lagos, they are not going to be able to drink water and drop up. To be like, eh? Their mind no go touch ground until they carry somebody from that particular access come out. All right. You get a CB. Sincerely, really get a CB. Just imagine, see, after all this thing, they can't talk, say, eh, they, eh, that particular place, now I really, really, uh, what's it called, hideout, and they really waiting, waiting. All right. You understand me?
Now, so it's supposed to happen. Nobody is supposed to, oh, I'm supposed to be on deck. So make sure that this particular incident does not in any way peak. What was it called? All right, well, at the end of the video, I just hope that, you know, it turns out well. It turns out well, these people now. This abduction that have been carried out to Tenumba has not started any work. He and his legislators are to decentralized Nigeria into Tenumbu into region and zoo for proper development in Nigeria. Well, you can actually see that. What is the difference between bandits and terrorists? Both actually kill booked actually Collect ransoms. All right. Well, all those things that is going on, like I said, all those things that are going on is enough to keep you, you know, awake. Is enough to keep you awake at night. It's enough for you to start. You know, pray for your children, you know, for you to start being very, very aware. This is not the time things will happen, I leave things to chance. You have to carefully, carefully make sure that at the end of the day, it will be your fault. You understand? But well, this kind of incident does not continue to happen. Ekbe, Lagos. School children. Ah, no. This is going to be selling chills down a lot of parents. Most especially, there are people who will be sitting and they look for their children. You understand? This is not going to sit well with them. It will look as if they never come as I come to the internet, you know. But it's going to seem as if they don't come as I talk, say, my dear, their children, they, they never get themselves. For a very long time, they never get them. So that is why I'm saying this is a time where this particular news, you understand? Whether they don't come as I come to talk, say, this will happen or that will happen, they don't already know. So... Make them do it in. Make everybody calm down. Do you understand? Make everybody calm down. Make everybody, did I just say calm down? No, everybody needs to. This is not a situation that needs calm down. This is a situation where you want to really, really see what, you know, how far the security operatives can go. But me, I'm, I'm feeling the government should dig in and find more people that are involved in this I'm telling you more people that are actually involved in this all right so whether you're living in Lagos environs you're living in Nasaba you're living in Portacot you're living in ABJ please be very careful this period when you're out make sure you are your environment conscious you're not somebody who is always on the phone you're taking care of what is happening around you. You're taking care of what is happening beside you so that nobody walks in on you and tries to. All right. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.